Hey everyone, it's One Stop Guy. How's everyone all doing today? Hoping everybody is having a great day today. All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use the most up to date DoorDash driver app. Okay, uh, DoorDash has been updating their app every couple of months. All right, guys, so I haven't done a video on the DoorDash app for a long time. So we're going to do one this year in 2022. Okay. So uh, if you guys haven't seen the other uh, DoorDash, um, you know, tutorial in 2018, 1920 and 21, I do have all those videos uh, in the DoorDash section of my channel. Okay. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and do uh, for the year 2022 and there are a lot of changes and uh, before we get into detail if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to hit that subscribe button okay and tap in a notification bell so whenever i upload any new videos you'll be the first to be notified all right guys so if you guys are inside your doordash driver app it looks just a little bit different okay so like i mentioned earlier a couple years ago it looks different it seems like every six months or every year they change it a little bit uh, to make it better i guess uh, but today we're going to focus on how to schedule that dash and then also how to cancel that dash if you are not able to work at that time and day okay and then we're just going to go a little bit around the app so you can see uh, how it looks like and what it does and all that stuff okay with all the new icons on the app as you guys can see if you guys are dashers uh for like a couple years already i would say two to three years uh you guys know exactly what i'm talking about there's a lot of changes going on here and a lot of icons popping up that are new all right so all right so right now i'm actually inside my dasher app if you look in the bottom all those uh icon in the bottom are are the same from four years ago i started doordash since uh the end of 2018 okay so almost four years uh the bottom you're gonna see it says dash which is the main screen that we're on schedule is where later on we're gonna show you guys how to schedule a dash and cancel the dash account it just basically has your information okay rating is just your ratings of all your deliveries and all that and then earning is how much you make all right so today we're just going to focus mostly on the schedule one uh, show you guys how to schedule a dash and like i said earlier if you guys um can't dash at that time and day we can cancel it all right so look on top now you're gonna see a question mark this is if you need help just go ahead and tap on it and then it's gonna pop up all these stuff right here okay and then you can select whatever dash to pay account management uh, all these right here and that's going to give you some um, answers to those questions and then there's a new thing right here has a plus right next to the blue plus okay that's more like emergency okay so if you tap on that it's going to say are you feeling unsafe uh, get a call back from adt and then swipe for uh, you look in the bottom it says swipe for 911 assistance i haven't used this feature yet so i'm not sure how it works but that is a new feature on this app that just came out i believe maybe last year or so and then promos in the middle you're going to see promos tap on that this is where it's going to show you uh the deals or the peak pay uh, that they have for today okay so mountain view if you actually uh, dash from 9 30 to 11 30 you get three bucks bonus pay okay and then you know wherever your location is they're going to tell you how much more it's a plus uh, with the green dollar dollar okay so you know the amount all right so that's promos and then the chat is to the middle uh, to the left of the promos just chatting with your customers or whatnot and then the bell i'm going to tap on the bell the bell is just giving you some updates okay account secure uh, security uh covid19 uh, mass mandate reminder all right so that's pretty much it for all the icons on the app itself and then right now as you guys can see where i'm at is not busy at all okay normally in san jose where i'm at around this time is always busy uh, but it seems like now there are more dasher i guess now that's working in san jose so the um the busy sign is not popping up anymore 
and uh, I've noticed that I got I have to schedule in advance uh, to be able to dash. But sometimes you know you get lucky, and it still has a dash now. So I can't really show you how to dash now because on the bottom of my screen it says schedule only. So you can only do a schedule. You cannot dash now. But if you are in these other areas right here where it says really busy. Uh, usually you can dash right away dash now without even scheduling okay uh, my previous uh, video if you watch the 2021 tutorial on the DoorDash app you will see that there is a dash now okay but on this one there isn't like I said um, I guess too many dashers are working in San Jose now so um, there's probably not enough orders for everybody so they're not uh, allowing us to dash now all right so go to the bottom, uh, go ahead and tap on schedule. And we're going to do that right now. And then once you tap on schedule, it's going to tell you all the availability that's going to be available today or even all the way to maybe Sunday, the 17th, okay, or 18th, uh, whatever it lets you. Uh, for instance, let's do Tuesday. Let's just do it today just for some pur uh, this purpose, okay? Let's say... Uh, we want to work in um, Santa, Santa Clara from uh, 5 to 9.30 p.m. And there is a, a spot right there, okay? 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Let's go ahead and tap on the pencil to the right. Okay, you guys look to the right. You see a pencil. Go ahead and tap on that. And then once you tap on that, it's going to pop up another screen. It says, choose a time to dash in California, Santa Clara. We have currently have openings between 5 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Let's assume that uh, you want to start at 6. So tap on the start time where the arrow is on the right. And on the bottom, it's going to let you change the time, okay? So we're going to go ahead and change it to 6 p.m. And then we're going to press done. And then on the bottom, same thing. Let's say you want to work to only 9 o'clock. Go ahead and change it to 9 o'clock p.m. And then press done again. Okay, and then we're going to dash for, let's say, three hours tonight, okay, and uh, in Santa Clara. So from 6 to 9 p.m., and then on the bottom, you see where the big old red uh, save dash? Go ahead and tap on save dash. And then it should uh, lead you to uh, your schedule dash for today. And scroll all the way down, you should see it right there. It says Cal um, Santa Clara from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. I'm sure if you guys are current dash or you guys already know how to how to schedule the dash and all that. Uh, this one is mainly for new dashers. Okay, so if you guys are brand new or if you guys are thinking of uh, being a dasher, you know, I'm just I just want to show you guys my experience, my um, basically the way that I I schedule my own dash. Okay, but if you guys are you know dashers already and you guys already know and you guys still want to watch it, uh, watch this video, go ahead and watch along or you know. Um, or whatnot but uh this is how you schedule the dash and then what happened if you know tonight or whatever the day that you schedule the time and day what happened if you can't work right let's say if you got busy or you just don't feel like working you got lazy or whatever um and you just change your mind you don't want to work that's fine all you got to do is go back to the schedule tab okay and then where that blue you know, spot that you schedule six to nine, go ahead and tap on it. And then once you tap on it, on the top left, it's going to say cancel. On the top right, it's going to say delete. Okay. So if you guys cannot dash anymore, you guys can always delete that dash and you don't have to dash. Okay. Or uh, sometimes I forget to delete it. What you can also do is just wait until that day and time. And if you don't actually sign in for like 30 minutes, they're they're actually just going to kick you off. So, you know, if you actually forget to, uh, like I said, cancel this dash, then they can can't they're going to cancel it for you automatically. Anyways, if you don't sign in uh, for 30 minutes during that uh, that dash time. OK, sometimes I just leave it. I don't even delete it. OK, because what if uh, when it comes to that time, you know, I change my mind again and I'm like, uh, I want to work now, you know. So most of the time, I actually don't delete my dash at all. I just leave it until when the time comes and then DoorDash will just delete it themselves if I don't uh, sign in. Uh, but for this purpose, let's say you want to delete it. Go ahead and just tap on delete. And then once you tap on the delete, it disappears. You guys see that? 
So now you have no schedule dash at all for today. And then, like I said, you can do the same for, you know, the 13, 14, all the way to the 18. If it's available, do the same way that I just show you. And you can um, schedule or if you can't dash, you can delete it. All right. But that's like, I, just like I said earlier, you don't have to if you don't want to. And DoorDash will just kick you off if you don't log in uh, for 30 minutes during that time. All right. So that's about it, guys. I just wanted to share with you guys. Oh, guess what, guys? I guess my area right now is getting busy. So there is a dash now button. If you guys look in the bottom, it says dash now. This is the button that I really like because if you didn't schedule anything, uh, most likely now they're not going to let you dash because so many dasher and it's busy. Uh, but now since it's super busy, uh, there is a dash now on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and tap on dash now to show you guys. Okay. And then once you tap on dash now, this is when it is available that you can dash to for about an hour because right now it's 1130. Uh, you can dash to about 1230. So go ahead and dash until 1230 p.m. So we'll dash an hour. Tap on dash now or dash until 11, uh, 1230 p.m. And then once you tap on that, once again, it's going to get ready for your dash and it's going to tell you the car that you're driving. And then uh, you want to charge your phone, enough gas, red card and hot bad okay so once you um tap on all those four you can start dashing okay on the bottom it says start dashing and then that's when you're gonna sit and wait for orders to come in all right so it's funny because a couple of minutes ago we didn't have the dash now but now we have a dash now because i guess now it's starting to get really busy so without even scheduling i can actually dash now so that's good that it had that um that option so i can show you guys but i'm not going to dash now i'm pretty busy today i'm going to go ahead and tap on the x to go back out to the to the front screen here and now you guys can see basically everywhere is busy right now okay normally like around 11 30 lunchtime it always gets super busy okay all right so that's about it guys just wanted to uh show you guys and uh show you guys how to use the brand or the updated doordash app in 2022 all right guys if you guys have any questions or comment leave them down below and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to hit that subscribe button okay and tap in the notification bell so whenever i upload any new videos you'll be the first to be notified all right guys thanks a lot for watching and i will see you guys next time take care Bye bye